the best of the morning X 99X. Never, she'll ne- you'll never shake this song. You realize never. that, Moon Zappa, right don't you? Now, no longer Moon Unit, just Moon? My name has always been Moon. Unit's my middle name. There's no hyphen in my name. You so know it's what I think? Just hearing the whole thing together, Moon Unit, I think that was just easy for people to accept, you know? Because <laughs> going with Moon Unit. Moon Unit instead of Moon. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm sure you've been asked really it a matter. million times, but uh, did you ever ask your dad about what what, what was up with the unit? Because Moon is actually a very cool name, I think. I think unit it's a beautiful name. Unit is because name. I'm the first kid, and we became a family unit when I was born. Well, that makes Aww. perfect sense. I know. It's a mushy sentiment. Very My nice. Middle name. Mm-hmm. You still live out in L.A.? I do. I live in Los Angeles. What, I mean, I know you've got a book out now, and uh, this is your first foray into the writing field. I, actually, it's my first novel. I've been uh, novel. Uh, doing lots of journalism for quite a few years, actually. Right. Is that how you've been kind of, you know, spending supporting your time myself? supporting yourself is through, <laughs> through journalism? Um, that's how you try to support yourself. But actually, uh, well, during uh, the process of writing my book, I had to uh, rely on my uh, musician boyfriend. There's a first. Oh, wow. <laughs> a woman relying on her musician boyfriend and on my mother, actually, for uh, some financial assistance. Who is your boyfriend? You? Anybody we'd know? Uh, uh, I don't know. Ooh. Is it? Isn't it Paul from Matchbox Twenty? It is. Yeah, oh. he's a really cool guy. Well, uh, there you go. Gee, he's, I think he's I've a very heard of that bite-sized band. drummer. He's a very bite-sized he, drummer. He's a very very nice guy. <laughs> yeah, and I think I've heard of that band from somewhere. Apparently, I mean they've sold a few albums. Yeah. They, I guess they get a little bit of radio play every now and then. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now you, no, can I do- tell you, you cannot go anywhere. I mean, seriously, it's it's uh, it's enough to go on and visit him, but then uh, when you go to buy a bagel or you go to, you know... Isn't that weird? Because I just walked into a mall in Phoenix yesterday and Bent was playing over the entire system of the whole mall. Oh, yeah. And then uh, karaoke, always a favorite choice, a Matchbox 20 song. But, Moon, do people recognize the drummer in Matchbox 20 on the street? Uh, You know, they sometimes do, actually. And in the Midwest, forget about it. Really? Oh, yeah. How'd you guys meet? We met through a friend. What's your favorite Matchbox 20 song? Uh, the one that Paul wrote, Stop. Stop. Mm-hmm. Hey, who was... It's, uh, the, it's the most uh, speed metal, because that's my thing. I like Pantera. Oh, do you really? All yeah, right. why not? Your dad would be proud. <laughs> yeah, you like Wouldn't to rough he? it up. Frank would be proud. Hey, who was... Uh, <laughs> growing up, who was uh, the strangest cat that ever uh, that ever crossed your living room? Uh... That's hard to say. I mean, there were so many oddballs uh, in my in my household growing up. Uh, but I do remember uh, a guy coming to the house. Uh, people would know him as oh, I can't think of his name right now because it's five o'clock in the morning where I am. Um, Don Van Vliet, who, and I cannot think of what his his actual name is. Oh, uh, this is people are going to be flipping out. They're going to be pulling off the road in their cars. Why did you know them? You're anyway, right. he he drilled a pe- a pencil hole in his nose with a pencil. He d- drilled a little hole in his nose so he could whistle. What a- a- out of his nose. And you, and his real name is Don Van something. Don Van Vliet, and um, he. I, I, this is. I cannot believe. I seriously have a brain freeze, and well, I'm well, sure my father's fans are going to seriously call in, be so angry, but I don't know. Right, because your dad's <laughs> fans, like they know every uh, every detail about his life. Oh, beyond. They they and and, and when they've come to uh, book readings, they they've asked me questions like, "Do you know who the real Susie Cream she says Things like this. They just and I say, "No, sir, I do not." Were you into his music? Um, I like uh, I like his instrumental stuff. I mean, when you're growing up and your dad's singing about body parts and you're not yours aren't fully developed, you get a little bit shy. I mean, it's normal. Like any anybody, with, they're not going to be so interested in what their dad does. Do you have kids? Do they love what you do? <laughs> right. No, that's a, that's an excellent point. <laughs> um, you you want to act? I mean, you look great on on screen. Well, thank you very much. No, I'm I'm committed to writing. I really enjoy uh, being the boss of the universe. When you're when you're writing, you get to uh, be the director, the actor, the producer, the set designer. You're doing everything, and so. <laughs> You create, you create universes. It's, I mean, it's, it's more fun. Were you bummed that you weren't cast in, or, or even asked to be in, or I don't know if you were or not, Valley Girl when they did that movie? Because that song, I mean, yeah. I, I was not bummed. In fact, my father was asked to go to a screening of it to see if they uh, if he'd be interested in using, letting them use the song. And he saw the film, and he didn't enjoy it. He, he passed on it. Really? I thought it was kind of funny. I mean, it was just like those yeah. movies are. I mean, it's just candy. It's nothing. <laughs> I mean, he was a big—he was a big fan of movies. He just uh, didn't. That one didn't. Uh, it didn't right. have any information for him, I guess. <laughs> Talking to Moon Unit Zappa. <laughs> moon, 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 Moon Zappa. Yes. <laughs> How are Dweezil and Amit, your brothers, doing? Uh, they're doing quite well. Do you see them often? I do. I see them all the time. I enjoyed the show. I, that I saw my, D, my my sister Diva last night. Too. Did Dweez get married? 
He did not, but he's going out with Lisa Loeb. And, yeah, uh, that's he, right. He tours with her, and they, she has an album coming out, and did, uh, he didn't, co-wrote a bunch of songs on it. Didn't right. you do some writing, too, for, like, Interview Magazine? and? Have I? Yes. I've done a ton of stuff. Uh, yeah, I, I, I write, I do freelance stuff all the time for all that, for all those fancy magazines. Then your book is out when? It's actually out now. Uh, it's called America the Beautiful. You are quoted as saying that your new novel is 17.2% autobiographical. Yeah, I don't want to mislead people into thinking that it's about me growing up. Uh, when I say that, I, I, I basically am referring to the fact that I've, I've set this, uh, this girl who's love-obsessed in a, in, a, in a world where she's the, the daughter of a famous person, and that was just a, a way for me to um, make a, a, an old story interesting because I thought maybe somebody would like to know what it's like growing up in a famous household and how annoying that can be. Why did you want to write a novel? That just seems like so much work. <laughs> because I love reading and I love words and I think books are fun. I don't know. There's just something. She's a writer, so... Jimmy. That does seem I hard. Know, just uh, to me, uh, it would seem like you know, journalism would be uh, e- not easier, but more um, because you're you're constantly changing subject matter and it, it's more refreshing. Yeah, but you know what? When you're doing journalism, you're you're focusing on somebody else's ideas, and you, and then uh, after a while, you're like, I'm I'm just as interesting as that person I just interviewed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my thoughts are uh, worth writing down. So uh, I don't know. You just uh, you get a little courage one day, and you and you and you start writing. Hey Moon, what was that show that your brother had on USA? That Amit. What was that game? Happy show? Hour. That show. I love that the, show. Yeah. yeah, that was a great show. Watching celebrities get drunk and sing. That was beautiful. And then some heavy, some hair band would show up, like Rat or somebody to oh, play. Oh, incredible! I love that show. That was fun. Had you was, ever? Especially because they never went to college, and so that was that was like going to college. Did you ever go through a period uh, in your life, Moon Zappa, when you were you, you you wanted to be the rebellious teen and maybe like not use your dad's name because you wanted to not be associated with the fame of Frank Zappa and you know? I definitely all- went through a phase of wanting to be rebellious, but there was uh, really nothing to rebel against. When you're given total freedom, you're you're really floating in outer space. You're like, what can I do if everything's acceptable? What can I? Yeah, what? Well, how can so, you rebel? So you so. never resented the fact that for a long time people just knew you as Frank Zappa's daughter. Well, there's nothing I could do about that. In fact, uh, it was it was uh, the the only hilarious thing that happened. I was thinking, okay, finally, I've got a book out. Now people will finally. Uh, my, maybe I can be as famous as my name <laughs> or be known for something that I do instead of uh, just being born. Yeah. And, of course, uh, then the whole, the whole thing just uh, erupted. And yeah. I, I thought, this is this is very typical. Thank right. you, Moon Zappa. America Thanks the Beautiful. A pleasure to talk to you. Thank you. The Morning X. 99X.